life definitely has its perks. This is pretty great. Oh, something about sparkling water just tastes so much better than regular water. Yeah, sparkling water on tap. Chilled sparkling water on tap. I guess that's the kind of bougie you get in the south of France. This is Josh and I'm Erin. We recently started documenting our travels around the world, hoping it will inform, inspire and entertain. Subscribe to join the adventure. So you left us last week anchored in a small bay in between Monaco and Antibes. Well, we've made it about 15 miles along the coast since then and we're now tied up in a lovely marina town of Juan Lipins, living a very civilised marina life. Josh and I are waiting on some posts from the UK, so once again, we're stuck here for a while. Another struggle of constantly being on the move, receiving post is a well-timed, usually very frustrating, highly coordinated operation. Ah oh well, there's worse places to wait. Because we're kind of stuck in on team for a few days, we've hired a car and we're just gonna go out for an explore today. Head up into the hills and just try and find some little villages that we've heard exist. Should be a good day. Could you have found a smaller car? It's compact. It's very compact. There you go, St. Paul de Vence. St. Paul de Vence. St. Paul de Vence. So we're currently in St. Paul de Vence. It's a lovely little um, quaint town. Um, it looks beautiful. Let's go and explore together. Absolutely amazing. You can see all the kind of vineyards and olive groves and the little towns down below, and then you see all the way over to the coast over there. Wow.
we're just driving up and up and up all these hairpin bends and we're right in the middle of this incredible canyon now like there's just mountains like huge huge cliffs on each side of us and it's absolutely amazing the view is fantastic so you just stop we're going to try and get the drone out and hopefully there's a decent gps signal and we can fly it and we're going to try and get it to go through the canyon but there's a pretty amazing view to make it out on the camera but um so you can see a small village or a town on the left which is nice and off to the right mm -hmm. is uh auntie So what? No, I was just saying that this town reminds me of um, Beauty and the Beast, like the, the little French town where Belle lives. You can just imagine her twirling around and just living life like it was a fairy tale. Day number two of exploring France. First stop, we are going to Cannes. The police are now. 
now, the police are now finding everyone who doesn't have a mask. So as soon as I walked in, I didn't have my mask on. Luckily, the flower shop owner told me to put a mask on. But I've just seen two people get stopped by the police for not having masks in this market. And uh, yeah, they're, they're, so they're, they're getting hot on it now. They're, yeah, there's a guy over there being fine now. Yeah. trying to find the cathedral but I'm having very little luck. so much character. is the Cannes War Memorial. It was erected in 1918 as a tribute to all the fallen during the First World War, a war that went down in history as one of the bloodiest and most brutal battles this world has ever seen. Most famously, the Battle of Verdun, lasting 302 days and claiming 714,231 lives. That's an average of 40,000 deaths per month. It's absolutely astounding to think about, but definitely worth remembering. We just found this really, really nice forest to come have a picnic in. So we bought some food with us. We just bought four baguettes from the bakery. <sighs> Let's eat. We'll wrap things up there for now. France really does have it all. Mountains, views, coastline, beaches, an unending amount of croissants. It's shot quite far up my list of favourite places. Also, fun fact, it's actually the country where Josh and I first met. But we'll save that story for another day. 
We hope you enjoyed exploring by land with us this week. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. It all really helps our little channel grow. And we'll see you next week as we finally get to have a good sail. We anchor right on top of a sunken boat and a huge storm keeps us on board for a few days. We'll see you all then. Ciao.